Hi everyone and welcome again to this new uh, series of videos in which I will teach you 50 useful and a little bit advanced verbs that you will need to use um, every day to improve your deja. Uh, please try to practice your pronunciation. I will say the verb slowly and try to say it slowly and uh, I will provide a sentence and you can also uh, make your own sentences and share them. This video is going to be in, in parts. So I will divide it into five or four parts. This is to, uh, to make it easy for you to practice 10 verbs and then you have some time uh, between the, the, the videos. And uh, this is also good because you will only focus on 10 verbs, not all the 50 verbs. The other thing is that this video, some parts of it will not be available for all, for the public. It will be only for the members who joined my YouTube channel. And you will see the button here somewhere uh, down to join and you pay a small amount of money to see the exclusive account, uh, the exclusive content. It will, uh, they will also be available on uh, my Patreon uh, for the members of my Patreon. You will find all the links in the description below. So the first verb with us today is try, try, try. Uh, the verb is حاول, حاول. And here you will see three forms. حاول is you try. When I'm talking to you, masculine, this is imperative. حاول you try. For if you're talking to a lady, it would be حاولي. We always add e, the sound, e at the, at the end. And if you're talking to a group of people, you will see حاولو. How low the o sound with some verbs we'll see them later we add ow we'll see those verbs in um, in a while so how is to try to do something this is this verb is specific for uh, try to do try plus verbs we have another verb to try something which is jarab maybe we will say it later so how how حاول. It's the letter ح. حاول. حاول. The sentence I have here is حاول تركز على الخدمة ديالك. حاول تركز على الخدمة ديالك. So here حاول is imperative. I'm giving an order. حاول. And T that you see before أركز. That's because I'm talking to you. حاول تركز. And if you see the second verb, أركز, is to concentrate or to focus. It doesn't have I at the end, which means I'm not talking to a woman. I'm talking to a man. حاول تركز على. The verb ركز, which is to concentrate or to focus, uh, needs this preposition. ركز على. ركز على الخدمة ديالك is your work. حاول تركز على الخدمة ديالك. Try to... Repeat these sentences many times. And of course, if you want to write your sentence, try to write a sentence for each one of these verbs. Become. Become. How to say become? That's the verb wulli. Wulli. This is a useful verb in uh, the Rija. It's used a lot and it has two meanings. Here we are just going to use it as to become something. Uh, so, wulli, wulli, wulli. If you're talking to a lady, it will be wulli because it's just the same sound at the end, wulli. And if you're talking to a group of people, it's wulli. This is because there is a vowel at the end of the verb. That's why it becomes wulli, wulli. Instead of the u, Wuliu, wuliu. We replace it with wuliu, wuliu. If you're talking to, or if you're giving imperative orders to a group of people, the sentence I have here for this verb is wulit mudir, wulit mudir. I have become a, a boss or a manager. Wulit. 
Anna will lead. So it's conjugated in the past. Anna will lead Mudira. I became uh, a boss or I have become a boss. If it's in the future, then it's going to be Ghan Wulli Mudir. Ghan Wulli Mudir. I will become a boss or I will become a manager. Uh, this verb also has another meaning, which means I started to do something. I started to, for example, I started to play. I started to understand. I started to, or I began to. Wulit ken fahm means I started to understand. Wulit ken fahm. This verb is to explain, explain, and that's sharah, 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 to explain, sharah. And of course, it apply, we will apply the same rule, sharahi, sharahu, for uh, you, feminine and you, plural. Sharah, sharahi, sharahu. Sharah, sharahi, sharahu. And this one doesn't need a preposition. We don't say sharah ila or sharah. Uh, unless if you want to say sharah il is explained to someone. Ghan sharah lik hadi. Ghan sharah lik hadi. This means I will explain this to you. Gha or ghan. So this gha is future. En is me. Sharah is the verb to explain. L, this is to. Ik is you. To you. Hadi is this. Ghan sharah. Leak hadi and repeat the sounds. Great. This verb is start, and we say bda. Bda is to start something. Bda. And of course, if you are talking to a lady, it will be bday, bday, and for a group of people is bdao, bdao. So bda, bday, bdao. And liuma bdit bkri. This is the sentence. Liuma bdit bkri. Today I started early. Liuma bdit bkri. Liuma bdit bkri. Liuma bdit bkri. To start uh, your work or to start something. Bda. This verb is forget which is nsa nsa if you're talking to a girl it will be nsay nsay and if you're talking to a man uh, a group of people it will be nsaw nsa nsay nsaw wash in city wash in city so here wash is did you or do you this is the question word we use to ask questions n c t this is the verb nsa conjugated in the past with you. Have you forgotten? Or did, did you forget? Wesh and city? Wesh and city? Wesh and city? The next verb is show and it's worry. Worry or being. So worry, show me something. Or show me how. Wurri. Wurri. And being is to make something appear. Like make it to make it appears to others. Uh, Wurri and being. Can you pronounce them or say them? Wurri being. Wurrini la carte dielk. Wurrini la carte dielk. Wurrini la carte dielk. That's show me your ID or card. So, la carte, la carte, this is the word we use for ID, la carte. So, if you say in Morocco, a'tayni uh, la carte dielk, this means give me your ID. A'tayni la carte dielk. So, urini la carte. Urini la carte dielk. The next verb here is believe. Believe is tiyak. Tiyak. Tiyak is to uh, trust to believe someone if he tells some news. I believe you. Uh, we use this verb tiyak. We will see also in the verbs how to say I believe in God using another verb. So tiyak, tiyak, magadish and tiyak, 
مغاديش نتيقك I will not trust you مغاديش نتيقك مغاديش نتيقك تيق You're talking to a man is تيق The woman تيقي Plural تيقو The next verb is bring to bring something from one place to here please be careful with this verb uh, bring something from there to here we say jib 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 jibi jibo jib jib kas diel lma jib kas diel lma that's bring a glass of water jib Jib cas is one glass, diel of lma. Jib cas diel lma. And the opposite, in the region we have to take something from here to another place. So before we saw jib is to bring something here, now take something from this point or from where I am to some uh, another place is the verb di. 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 Di di diu di di diu uh, di had the case the cuisine di had the case the cuisine di had the case the cuisine the Arabic script says another verb which is hud and it has the same meaning hud had the case the cuisine it's just a mistake from my part but it's also good because you will have two verbs so di and hud D and Hud have the same meaning to take something from here to another place. So D had the case the cuisine or Hud had the case the cuisine. The next verb is happen. Happen is In the examples, what happened? What's going to happen? So uh, we'd ask the question here. Ash wqa' hna? Ash what? Wqa' happened here. Ash wqa' hna? Ash wqa' hna? Or sorry, in the sentence is Ash kay wqa' hna? That's that's the present tense. What is happening here? Uh, the sentence Ash wqa' hna is what happened here. So Ash kay wqa' hna? What's happening here? You can just ask someone Ash wqa' what happened? Ash wqa' what happens? Ash Ash um, So see you in the next video and enjoy your uh, watching this video.